Hi everyone and welcome to this short video on page settings and more. Well let's take a look at what you can do with an individual page and its settings. Let's jump into a little sample site that I have here and we'll select the more button. And under more we have page settings. So we're going to look at the page settings of this particular page we're looking at which is called sample page. That particular page has a number of settings to it. You can show the page title or not. You can show links to subpages or not. You can allow comments and attachments to those who have been invited to your site or not. And you can show this page in the sidebar. So these particular checkboxes will allow things to happen on that page. So let's turn off allow attachments and allow comments on this particular page and say save. Click on save. And we'll let the page update here and sure enough the comments and the attachments are gone. So that's under the more menu in terms of page settings. We can also print the page if we want to. We can move the page. Let's say we've actually placed the page in a place on our site that uh, was maybe a mistake or we want to move it to a different place. So this gives us a map of our site and we can move that page to a different location. So we'll cancel that. We can also delete the page right from here. So if it's a page that's no longer needed or there was a mistake on it, you simply delete the page. Uh, and yes, you can recover deleted pages uh, in the Manage Site area. Preview page as a viewer. What would your page look like if people were coming to your site? So there's a number of things you can do with a page under More. One more item are page templates. You can actually save this page as a template. So if it's uh, set up the way that you want it and you want to reuse that page either on that site or other sites, you can save it as a template and you can change page templates as well. So there's a number of things that you can do with an individual page. Let's also take a moment to see what else we have available here in the more menu and we've probably talked about this one before but it's worth mentioning again is the revision history. The revision history allows you to recover a site to a previous state. Let's say there's a major mistake or a boo-boo on that site and you want to return to an earlier version of that site prior to the mistake. This is a very good fail-safe feature, particularly in a collaborative site where a number of people have access to edit or have multiple owners. That's the revision history. That is sort of a fail-safe not to be used as an editing tool. Let's go on down here and take a look at a couple more things. We have subscribed to page changes. If a user of this site is invited as an editor or as a viewer, they will have this option available to them and they can subscribe to page changes. That means anytime something happens to that, that page, they will receive an email, which is pretty slick because you don't have to go back to the site to see what the changes have been made. If we scroll down here a little bit more, we also have another action here called subscribe to site changes. And that allows you to receive an email anytime something is changed on the entire site. Uh, so rather than going back to the site, you will receive an email if there are changes to that site. I really like those features, uh, particularly subscribe to page changes when it comes to announcement style pages. And you post an announcement, they're going to be able to get that uh, in their email right away. So. That's page settings and more. Hope you found this video helpful. Have a nice day.